Princeton has one of the highest rates of people who start dating at Princeton end up getting married. Oh. I think around 60 or 70 percent, but this number changes with whoever you ask. Like of everyone course. has a different stat, but it's a really high number. Namaste everyone, this is Avanti and today I am on Princeton University's campus. It is one of the most beautiful campuses according to me in the US. And fun fact, I was strongly considering coming here, here versus Harvard were really where I wanted to go. Though I, it feels beautiful being back and I have some incredible students today including Sarthak, hi! hi. Oh my I'm gosh! I'm Sarthak Chaturvedi. I Do you want to introduce freshman. yourself? Ka, freshman, where are you? I am from Jaipur, India. Okay. Uh, and I came here like two months ago. Amazing. And I am thinking about studying computer science and yeah, it was really sweet of Avanti to uh, reach out to me and ask me to show oh show my gosh. Campus of campus because course. yeah, I love this school so yeah. It's beautiful. So we're going to see some of your favorite parts of campus. Uh -huh. And I think we're starting with where you live. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so Sarsak, what is this dorm called? This dorm is called the 1915 Hall, also known as the Monastery. Oh, this, interesting. Yeah, this is the only single sex dorm on campus. So this building is only guys and that building right there is part of the 1915 hall called the nunnery which is only girls yikes okay <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting format to have but it leads to a really nice community i can imagine so did you choose it or were you assigned uh you can't choose anything so i was assigned this. okay yeah but i would say that this is arguably the closest community on campus makes sense nobody else is closer to that always than than y'all are love it so Sarthak, yeah, this is good. your roommate. Hi! Hello! Nice to meet you. What's your name? Ryan, how are you? Good. Where are you from? I'm from California, you can tell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, in case anybody couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, I love he, that. He's a great roommate to have. And is this oh, what a exactly. what a standard Princeton dorm looks like? So, this is probably a little bit nicer than your average dorm. I think we got pretty lucky with at least the size. Um, yeah. Uh, the amenities aren't great, as we know. But, um, <laughs> It does its job and I like it. That's so, amazing. That's all that I love your fairy light setup. It's oh, thank so you. cute. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you for letting us see your room. <laughs> yeah, you of course. Thanks, man. <laughs> People who just want to see campus buildings, they can see it on any other channel, but like since you're with a student who's here, I yes. should probably take you to places that people don't usually go. Oh 100%. About. We want to see the inside scoop at Princeton. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. This is Whitman College. Okay. Arguably the most beautiful one, but I'd say that we get the advantage because we get to look at it. <laughs> Whitman people don't get to don't look get at to it. look at themselves. They, they look at this. <laughs> it's also pretty, but it's all pretty. Yeah, this whole we campus have a is super pretty. pretty. What was it like stepping on campus for the first time? What did it feel like? I started crying. Oh really? Yeah, oh. actually. Because I Nassau Hall is like the most popular building on yeah. Princeton campus. Yes. And I've seen like a thousand pictures of it. But actually being there, I was like, this is actually in front of me. This yeah. is not a picture. It was so overwhelming. I right? can imagine. I was in the oh. yeah. <laughs> this is the Lewis Center for the Arts. Okay. This is where a lot of people practice their music Amazing. and theater. So it's like a really beautiful building. If you walk by it, you can see that one entire side is glass. Ooh. And there are like wooden cubicles that are floating in air. Okay. And people practice their music inside them. I love so, that. Yeah, Dude, if I was here, I would spend all my time there. <laughs> uh, yeah, you definitely would. <laughs> if you want interesting facts about Princeton, I do have them. Okay, so we were talking about Nassau Hall. Yes. And Nassau Hall was actually the capital of the United States for oh, a little wow. bit. Yeah, it's like a very prestigious building. And like two countries were at war. I think the British were here who were at war with the Americans. And they hid inside Nassau Hall, the British, because they thought that nobody would ever think of attacking this building because yeah. it's such a prestigious academic like symbol to have. But uh, there was some issue that the guy who was the commander of the other army had a beef with Princeton so oh, wow. he was actually going to attack Nassau Hall but he ended up not doing it so yeah that's like one of the most popular buildings that's in, amazing all of this okay, this is Hofield okay. one of the very important parts of the because um, once you're 
really tired and it's like I don't know 2 a.m. or you're done partying and you still want to hang out with people, you just come to Cofield. There'll be like 20 people here in groups. Love it. So it's always a nice spot to hang out on campus. That is the Princeton University Chapel. Okay. Another fun fact. <laughs> this man is so fun, he has all the facts. <laughs> Princeton, Princeton has one of the highest rates of people who start dating at Princeton end up getting married. Oh. I think around 60 or 70 percent, but this number changes with whoever you ask. Like of everyone course. has a different stat, but it's a really high number. And Princeton University Chapel is a very popular place for people for them to, to get, get married. married. Oh, that's so So cute. they say that when you're dating in college, if you put your name down then to get married, by the time you grow up and you actually decide to get married, that's probably when you'll get your turn because it's a huge night. Oh, wait, really? That's yeah. so funny. <laughs> this is East Pine. Nice. This is the language building. Like, usually all of the language classes take place here. Okay. This is also considered one of the most beautiful buildings on Simpson Castle. I can but understand why. In, it's like really beautiful from all sides. All sides. Yeah, and I mean, Princeton is, I think, very popular for the arts it has. And this is the the famed Nassau Hall. Yeah, so Nassau Hall has ivy all over it. Mm. And it actually, they used to have, uh, they used to install an ivy for every class okay. that graduated from Princeton. But uh, it grew so much and it got so wild that it started like uh, clobbering all over the place and climbing into the windows and stuff. Oh, really? So they had to remove all of it and now there's artificial ivy. Oh. So a lot of it isn't real anymore because it was growing way too much. Ivy was out of control, man. <laughs> yeah. They're trying to be the best Ivy League school in the world yeah, and just... Actually, my sister told me when I was a little kid that the Ivy League is just called the Ivy League because they're so old that there's Ivy on the wall. <laughs> my sister used to tell me a lot of ridiculous stuff and I used to believe everything. <laughs> is this your older sister? Yeah, she is my older sister. Mm. What is the food here good? The food is decent. It's better than it was last semester. Okay. And then here on Saturdays they do um, Indian night, so they play oh, nice. music, and they have their version of Indian food. Do the lentils taste anything like dal? Uh, a little bit. They're not as liquid, I guess. <laughs> you but know, it's, it's what? They're trying. They're making an effort. I appreciate the music. <laughs> no, probably. The the thing is, when I remember when I would try to explain to people here like what Indian food is like, I kept explaining to them that I need something gila. Right. You know, like something wet, but wet food just doesn't translate. Like it just sounds weird when you say that in English. Yes. You know? <laughs> I know because um, also the way we prepare it um, is like the chicken is cooked in the gravy, right? Yeah. And you think they add the gravy on top? Or yes, something? they have mm. the same sauce. The wo, they, they keep the sauce on the side. Or sauce dal ke pe. Or sauce dal. But, <laughs> okay, so that was a very short glimpse of Princeton. Thank you, Anya. And of course, thank you, Satak, for showing us around. And Anya, what's a very Princeton word that if people have watched till this point, they should comment below? No, it's like maybe tiger? Tiger word? Tiger. Tiger, okay. Tiger. Go tigers. Go tigers. <laughs> so if you've watched till this point, please comment below. Go Tigers! So we know that you have and Princeton is a beautiful place and are there any resources if anybody has any questions like their website is it useful? Yes, their website is useful. They have like this section where you can write to the admissions officers with any of your questions, go through the FAQs so I think. Okay. Also their social media and Instagram page because a lot of that is run by students themselves. Oh nice, okay so you'll get the whole experience. Um, and thank you. Is this what it feels like? What it feels like? What it feels like?